as I say, I'm not an economist really, I'm a credit analyst, but I thought a lot about the duration of this odd sort of place that we're in right now. And I think it comes down to the fact that the concept of fiat money and the concept of social intervention is a very, very sweet lie. I think people would like to believe that they can consume beyond their ability to generate utility as individuals, as corporations, and as a country. It's nice to believe that the big thinkers of the world, the Obamas, the Bushes, the Boehners, the Bernankes, the Hollands, all those thugs, it's nice to believe, I think, that we had a problem in 2008 that was a mistake of liquidity, that it was caused by some toxic mortgage or something like that. Somewhere there was a pin that went in the balloon. And all these big thinkers fixed it and they made it all better for us. And we didn't have to worry about things like working or saving or creating or producing. All we had to do was be consumers. We were a consumer-led economy. And if we just spent, never mind we didn't have any money, things would be okay. So the reason that I suspect that this hiatus has gone on for so long is because the lie is so attractive. I think it was Ambrose Bierce that pointed out uh, that the um, root word of confidence is con. And it's a very, very, very attractive picture that has, I think, spawned this confidence. The other thing that you learn over time um, as a stockbroker is that markets are driven by people's near-term perspective. People's expectation of the future is driven by their experience in the immediate past. And our experience in the immediate past has been a soporific. In fact, the big thinkers have managed to cram so much liquidity into the system that they've papered over the cracks with specious currency. And I think the related psychological uh, component of this is that most people are not as free thinking as you would suspect. Most people, rather than searching for information that's objective, search for information that reinforces comfortable paradigms and prejudices. And it's certainly much more pleasant to believe that Mr. Boehner and Mr. Obama and Mr. Bernanke uh, can solve all our problems. We don't then have responsibility for ourselves. It's much better to think that you could vote for Mr. Obama or Mr. Bush or some other thug and then just go on about your life and not have to be responsible for yourself. So my suspicion is that the confluence of the fact that uh, the root word of confidence is con and this con is a very attractive con and that people's perception of the future is shaped by their immediate past and that people have searched for facts in the immediate past that can allow them to be per, uh, complacent as opposed to take action uh, is the reason that this situation's gone on for so long. Um, caution. I'm a credit analyst. I'm not an economist, so I'm making up what I just said, but it makes sense to me. <laughs>